There's nothing embarrassing about that. Embrace it. Anyhow. Sri Lanka stunning with what, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing, buddy? <laughs> you, you're looking at the ref like he's gonna give you that call automatically. You can't do that. Well, the whistle just came a little late. I think the referees were caught off guard the way we were. That's true, Daniel son. I'm Mr. Miyagi, right? You surely are. Wax on, wax off. Here we go. Rock Sun. Being defended by Aryan Bolt. Aryan Bolt, who hit the incredible game winner against Australia uh, to, to seal that goal. It was uh, it was Delgarnam Dabasabu who won the MVP, but Aryan Bolt was incredible in that final. Got fouled, top of the key, hit the two. Mongolia wins the goal, and now he's the he, now he's the alpha dog on this uh, on this team. He's been a rising star for Mongolia for several years now. We're going to see what he's able to do with this newly made team. And uh, obviously, Steve Sir in the stands, watching upon his, uh, his young links. And uh, Where's my guy Steve Sir? You, the camera is blocking your view, but he's right behind the camera. Did you see him now? Steve's done a great job with Mongolia. Oh, surely. An incredible job. And, and I definitely. made a point about Mongolia. In the way that they play now compared to how they played four or five years ago before Steve oh, yeah. came aboard. Oh, yeah. They were not much of an offensive team, but they've become more offensively efficient, and they certainly have extended their game beyond that two-point arc. Oh, they are a legitimate competitor at the highest level. They are doing a great job on the world tour scene, and it's setting us, setting up the whole program for success. Because you, you inspire and you show the way to the young bucks. This is how you got to do it. Yeah, for, so, for so long, they've depended on key players. Delvery Nam Dabasambu. And uh, Dogon Inkbat. Inkbat who got MVP in 2017. Now it's a new crew. Mongolia lead it to zip. The sun hits the deck. You know what I like about this look with uh, the way the, the the team Mongolia is built right now? They got length. They don't have, they don't have the strength. They don't have the muscles yet, but they are developing. Oh, with the tag the long arms. Just as we talk about it for the block. But Mongolia, if they can keep those uh, those young talents together, they're going to be a factor. And obviously, they want to be competitive right away and shock everybody because H ain't nothing but a number. But at the end of the day, experience is also something that matters at this level of competition. So I'm going to keep an eye out on those guys. That is absolutely correct. The archer has yet to find his mark. Sri Lanka will get it clear. Oh, ooh, that's blowing the tire. But he had his pair with his teammate. <laughs> Foul on the inside. So Mongolia, who represented their country in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics for 3x3's debut, will have a chance uh, again to make it uh, with the Universality OQT in Hong Kong, as well as the OQT in Utsunomiya, Japan. And the final OQT in Debrecen, May 16th. So they're going to get three cracks at it. And it's deserved with everything they've done for 3x3 and uh, how much they're involved in the sport for them to get a shot at it like that. Oh, sure. No, they've been, Mongolia has been, uh, been a standard setter in terms of investing in, in growing the game of 3x3. And you, you want to talk about a, a country that loves the game and it's embraced the game. I don't think that you can find one better than Mongolia, a better example. Well, it, in this side of the world, you got to think of China, you got to think of uh, Mongolia as like top dogs. And yes. then you can think of uh, Netherlands in Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I should have clarified and said That's in, why the, in that, Asia, because yeah. obviously there's been many European countries that have been dedicated for, for better than more than a decade. But for Mongolia, 
as one of the, the newer countries in that regard. Right, right. Uh, they put a lot into growing the game, and we've seen more and more events and uh, higher level events, you know, now come to the country as a result. And then, obviously, being one of the eight countries named it as an Olympic team, I mean, that speaks for itself. That's that's a that's a huge honor. And that shows you also how the investment was rewarded because it's not you can't even describe as a as a dogfight to get those Olympics. It's like straight up war. So difficult, so many candidates and so many qualitative candidates. Talking about elite teams that just fight it out and so many people will end up heartbroken not being able to get in. Yeah, now they, they didn't medal. I, wanna, I, I should say that, they did not medal, but they were there and they will have an opportunity uh, again. Several cracks at it this year. Right now they're trying to take their best crack at Sri Lanka. And it's 4-2 as a result. Aryan Bar. I'll tell you one thing about Sri Lanka, Kyle, that I don't really like starting this game up. They're going for one-on-one -on -one solutions, and it's not paying off at all. That's not what made their strengths in the qualifying draw. They were sharing the wealth, moving the ball around, and attacking off closeouts. Right now, they're starting off with the one-on-one -on -one play, and it, it's just difficult because Mongolia is lengthy. And also, think about the fatigue accumulated after three games. You ain't got the same fresh legs to attack those gaps. They, uh, they look a little frazzled, right. I would say. Right. There's Tamulin. No. Z one on one once again. Yeah, a bunch of iso ball, tough shot. That's, that's not the best shot you can get in your offense right there. But and it's not about saying you can't be an iso, ISO uh, influence team. They just were made to play double. Right. And two goes down for Chingis. But to me, the one-on-one -on -one needs to happen after some kind of collaboration because you want to put the defense on its heels. If you're starting up with the one-on-one, -on -one, the defense is ready, and we're playing 3x3. It's more physical, so it's not gonna go, you're not going to just drive by somebody on skate. And that's something to take into account. Simron, quick move. He is a ballerina. Working real hard for his bucket. You get it, ball arena. With the, the spin, the spin, and the, the grace. That was beautiful. Right now. A balance layup. Looks like Sri Lanka finding the way to get a few buckets. Nice defense. They deny the archer. Sun rises to snag the rebound. It will now set the screen. There Gets you go. Elevates, score plus the foul. Rebound, pass out, collaborate, pick and roll, pass it to the cutter. Get the N1 to go. It's all about that, not trying to take anything away. I really like this Sri Lanka team. Obviously, if you listen to the broadcast during the qualifier, you know how much we, we appreciate their effort and what they've accomplished. Just trying to say, for those that watch the game, pay attention to details being thrown your way. Simran with a step back. Comes up very short. And he will check out. Pawan will come in. Sri Lanka trailing by one point against the defending Asia Cup champs. The top. That is a wide open look. Nothing but you know what. Nice stroke there from Sandajo. Defensively, though, on that coverage, Sri Lanka completely collapsed. You can't give Mongolia, that is now renowned internationally to be a dangerous team from behind the arc, to get such open looks. Oh, rock slow. Did you see that move? I sure we did. Downshifted, Euro stepped, and we laid something. 9-7 is the result. Finishing off balance, nice touch. Four and a half to play in a two-point contest as the archer 
is being harassed by Pawan. Pawan got a hand on that. That'll leave 3.9 seconds for Mongolia to get a shot up. And Aryan Bolt, the veteran of this team. They're gonna depend on him heavily for the remaining four and a half to play. He puts his foot on the gas, gets to the lane, but misses the layup. Pawan, meantime, wide open on the right wing. Pawan driving, Pawan missed it front rim. The Sun snags it, he goes off the window, and that'll pull Sri Lanka within one. Even matchup so far, we, uh, we see the game could go either way. The main thing is Sri Lanka. Need to create a gap. Hey, Archer. Still not exactly finding the stroke. Maybe he got put on the bucket list. Sri Lanka got a lot of supporters in the stands. We've seen that through a qualifying draw. You got a lot of people out here excited about this team, as they should be. Yeah, and you know what? That kind of serves as a, as a fifth man, so to speak. To have that, that crowd section of your supporters showing you that energy, showing you that love, it kind of helps you when you're building momentum. We saw it yesterday. When you're down, you got people encouraging you. They're not to be underestimated. They surely are not. They could make a lot of noise if they can come up with a win against Mongolia in their first game of main draw. That'd be a big shock. Even though Mongolia's team is, is much different than in years past. At the end of the day, you still got to do it. Well, anytime you beat the defending champions in anything, it's worth, it's worth talking about. If they do it, right now it's all even. 9-9, nine, nine, anybody's game. Good execution, but no. You can't do that. See what had happened. What, <laughs> what had happened was. <laughs> what, what, what had happened? happened. It, had, it had slipped when I was trying to, uh, nah. Then my pinky, my <laughs> pinky. My, my, yeah, my <laughs> pinky nail hit. No, oh, man. <laughs> nine up. Patton play right there to get an open look. Aryan ball. Ar the archers firing blanks. He's continuing to miss the, the looks that he's getting from top of the key. Rukshan forgot his luggage on that trip. Mishandles the ball. And Mongolia, they're getting good looks. Eventually it's gonna fall. Archer, show, let me see the replay. Oh, real James Harden-ish right there. Man, this cross left and cross-eyed. Which way did he go? Well, he, not the right know. way. <laughs> not the right one. Rukshan, oh, runner. Soft touch off the glass. Uh-oh, Pawan. Lightweight, but heavy spirit. 10 10. Another close game. Not quite like game number one of the day. But, but it's still exciting. But it's still it's still tight. I mean, this, right. is, this is very likely going to come down to the wire. 242 left. I think you can rule out 21 points being scored. Right. It's going to come down to who executes best the rest of the way. Mongolia's in, in, in the penalty defensively. Sri Lanka, though, in a better position in terms of the fouls. Right. But the importance of each game is magnified in the main draw because there are three teams' pools. So when you're looking at the qualifying draw, having three games, you still have more leeway based on the loss or a win. It's like, it's good, but it's not that critical. In a 12 teams bracket, each game is do or die. This is a fact, top two from each group advance uh, to the quarterfinals. Four groups comprised of three teams. 
So it's going to be one team out each time, in each group, I should say. So wins are at a premium. We're going to see who gets one here in the next two minutes and 22 seconds. Ajbaya! Ajbaya! Abusive. He didn't body him, but he, who's that, Pawan? Well, he body checked him. He body checked him. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this again. This was, this was almost disastrous for Pawan. He, he goes in, but he didn't yam it on him. Unfortunate. Couldn't put the lid on that. To Gulen. Too strong, tipped, broken up. Back to Mongolia. Young Bucks missing the, missing the finishing the touches. Ooh. Well, now I'm going to be prepared for for Asbayar to potentially yam on somebody. I didn't know he had that in him. Well, he figured fingertip dunk um, a bucket earlier, but. Apparently, he got those go go gadgets. Go, gadget, go. Back then, it's another generation. Yes, those were the good days, weren't they? It were. It were. were. Uh, Heathcliff. I sure do. Garfield. Uh, how do you not know Garfield? Even the new generation. Looney Tunes. Oh, you're going to learn today. Oh, he got Smith Looney Tunes right there, for sure. <laughs> Made him look silly. Aryan Bow. Foul from behind. He got spun around like the Tasmanian Devil. He spun him around like the judge on The Voice. <laughs> oh, we're starting off the air pretty good. Huh? I think we're inspired by the energy that was brought in the first game. Oh, man, always. If you can't be inspired, watch a 3x3 and there's something wrong with you. Iron ball. Oh, oh man. You gotta finish that. Don't get the shot to go, but he does go to the free throw line to shoot one. That is the sixth foul on Sri Lanka. Mongolia with seven, as I mentioned, already in the penalty. Are you both? Broke shot, out top. Simran, hand up, cannot convert it. Chimulin whips it up top to the archer. Aryan ball, oh, missed it. Beautiful move. It's only gonna be a one pointer if it falls. Sri Lanka getting no love. Is it fatigue kicking in, Kyle? Could be. They're missing uh, some point blank opportunities. Azbayar, the runner, no. A lot of rims out. But Sri Lanka have an opportunity to pull within one or take the lead. I think they prefer to take the lead. Two free throws upcoming. As Ruth Sean will go up to the line, his team down by one. 27 seconds to go. Uh, first of two is no good. Rakshan with another free throw attempt, however, that can tie the game. The second free throw is missed as well. A missed opportunity, but still plenty of time left in the game. 20 seconds left. Aryan Bow makes his move. The Archer. The Archer. Too much Arch on that. Sri Lanka could win it with the dagger. Sri Lanka trying to snatch a win and snatch Aryan Bow's ankles. Tie game. 13 apiece. Ball is broken up to Moonen. Nearly hit it. We're going to start day three with back-to-back -back overtime games. Ooh. We earning our money. Uh, we, they're going to force us to earn this money. <laughs> we earn put in this overtime. Money. Get this money. 
Oh, look at that. Look at the snatch back. But I tell you what, though, the score does not translate to how many opportunities were available for both teams. A lot of rimmers, the ball just teasing us, hitting the rim multiple times, getting out, a lot of layups. A lot of shorties missed. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Well, we, uh, we go to overtime again. And uh, if you need a reminder on the rules, first to score two in OT wins. First to score two in OT wins. Here's the archer and Tumulin. Tumulin lets it go. No. In OT, Mongolia with another chance to win. The Archer misses the mark again. To Mulin, step back, gets it back. He will let it fly. So Mongolia trying to win this game in one shot. It's Simran. He will miss it. You got to communicate defensively. You can't afford to have a mental breakdown at this point of the game. A non Aryan bow misses it. He'll get another look and misses it again. So both teams missing like old people's teeth. I just got the sight of that in my head now. <laughs> I mean, they are building brick construction around the rim. Nobody can find their touch. Mongolia continue to get opportunities. This time it's Tamulin. He misses, but it's recovered and scored on the inside. So Mongolia needs to make sure they cover that two-point man like their life depends on it. Rukshan got sent packing. Mongolia needs just one point. Azbayar has it swiped away. Not a pretty, I'd say not a pretty game. The last couple of possessions of regulation and here in overtime, you, you don't have to, you don't have to win the game with a two ball. No. You, you, if, if you have a wide open lane, you take what the defense gives you, score the one point bucket, and there's less pressure because now all you need is one point. But each team just firing up twos, missing twos. Until, until Mongolia finally got one one point. But how many times did we see a team go for that easy bucket and get heartbroken by a, a lucky two-point shot thrown off a glass or, or something like that? So you always have the counter argument. It's true. I don't I don't mind taking a two, but forcing a two is different. If you get a good look, you take the two. Agreed. The Agreed. But you don't force it. Arian Bowe, he's out of there. And so is Mongolia, straight into the winner's circle. In OT, 15 to 13. Courtesy of the Archer was not his best shooting performance. Doesn't matter. Win is a win is a win. Sri Lanka, although they were undefeated in the qualifying draw, they will suffer their first loss here in Singapore at the hands of the defending gold medalist from one year ago, Mongolia again, they win it 15-13 in OT.